Hi guys, I'm back with another quick fix for a cassette player. This is a Nakamichi BX125, and as you notice, I've taken it all apart so I could get the motor and the, uh, the cassette drive out. And the problem is it wasn't rewinding properly, so I had to change this little rubber wheel here. And this was the one that I took off. As you can see, it might be a little bit worn. It's hard to really tell. It seems pretty, pretty flexible here. And what I did is I got an O-ring from the uh, hardware store and put it on instead of the, uh, the more expensive one. I just wanted to see if this tape recorder even worked before I go and buy a, a full set of belts. Now I measured it on my micrometer and it's about that big. So, I mean, it's about a third of, a, you know, three-tenths of an inch or some, some size like that. But anyway, if you take this to the hardware store and match it up pretty well, you can. Even a little bit smaller will do. And for some reason, it seems to be working fine. Okay, so now we're going to put a cassette in here, and I'm going to be able to play it without actually reassembling the whole thing, just to test it out to see if it works. Turn it on. Let's listen to fast forward first, just regular play. Okay, so it's playing fine, and it seems like the speed is absolutely correct. And now let's do the rewind. Yeah. Rewinding perfectly without making any kind of crazy noises or anything. And let's fast forward. And it seems to be working fine. So, if you're on a budget, you don't want to spend a lot of money or just want to see if that cassette deck works, use an O-ring or, any, like I said in the last video, some rubber bands. And I might try a rubber band on this one just to change it out just to see if the regular main drive belt works with a rubber band. But I'll do that later on.